what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at it again with another video so i wasn't able to check out this week's dynamite uh unfortunately uh i was actually uh, working on some stuff for the in the clutch page uh we finally i guess you can say we're able to post now on the main page we still have our one strike but now we're able to post um so we're no longer on our probation period we're able to post content so we was working on that and we was working on setting up some stuff for the uh the stream on the main page we're going to start gaming we're going to start streaming on the main page uh we know wwe 2k is already out for people who are pre-ordered and stuff like that so we're gonna be trying to stream that game heavily so uh that's why i wasn't able to check out uh aew or at least live streaming i was able to check it out when i got home so sorry about that y'all but you know we're just trying to create some more content for you guys so be on the lookout for that on the main in the clutch page more content dropping but i was able to check out the highlights and the most important things to talk about and uh yeah man let's get right into it i'm gonna kind of go in a little bit of order or whatnot uh from just the stuff that i was really interested in and the things you guys were telling me to check out so first things first uh we gotta talk about william regal and um uh, Brian Danielson and John Moxley. Of course, they had a, a tag team match and uh, they dominated. Uh, they they definitely did what they were supposed to do. Um, but I will say, it's just something about seeing them work together. It's quite quite entertaining, quite enjoyable. And William Regal coming out there giving a heartfelt promo on why he came uh, to AEW. You know, he kind of turned you know moved away from the wrestling scene considering what happened with him in nxt and how he uh you know that whole situation transpired so he he was kind of i guess you could say from what he was saying in the promo done with the wrestling business and then he heard brian danielson mention his name and hence this is what why he came back this is why he came back at AEW revolution he slapped some sense into both uh brian danielson and john moxley and now they are a tag a tag team a, a duo and you know william regal is going to be there pretty much every step of the way and i'm looking forward to it bro i like what he was saying like to everyone out there man um you're not gonna like what's gonna happen to you when you face these guys you know either you'll step up or you'll get stepped on i loved it it's it's kind of a notice to anybody out there that feels like they ready to rumble these guys are gonna tear you apart and i'm, I'm looking forward to seeing where they take this this tag team you know granted they're not a traditional tag team like you know in the sense of like the young uh the young bucks or um uh what's the name red dragon like teams like that they're not i guess you could say traditional in that sense but their styles are opposite but they work and i'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with them I, that's the tag team you know i'm okay with you sometimes uh, WWE, I'm, I'm comparing WWE here. Sometimes they'll put an impromptu two individuals that you you just don't see working as a tag team or whatnot. They usually do that a lot, but in this situation, these two different styles work in a sense, and I like it. I love this. I'm okay with this. I'm I'm just excited to see where this goes. So that was a highlight for me uh, that I definitely enjoyed. The promo, that whole segment, the crowd getting hyped. It was it was great. So, of course, we have to talk about the elephant in the room, man. Your boy, none other than Jeff Hardy, has made his debut in AEW, man. And I must say, it was great to hear the pop he got. The pop he got when his brother's getting beat on, he's getting jumped. Darby Allen and Sting tried to help. The numbers game was too much. You hear the crowd chanting Hardy. You hear it because it, it was kind of people can't already speculated, you know, that he was probably going to come tonight and he made his appearance. Once you heard his music, he's doing the thrust all the way down the ramp. <laughs> Crowd went crazy. Pop was beautiful. It was it was great to see. Oh, man. It just made me feel good, bro, to see that, to see matt and jeff hug each other to see jeff hit the swanton bomb oh man it was great bro it was great 
you can tell they turned Jeff, pretty much they turned him. I'm not Jeff, they turned Matt face. He's not aligned with and Andrade anymore. They pretty much turned him face. And I can't wait to see some tag team matches with these guys. And I know these guys are going to be able to put over some of the younger tag team, the younger talent. So I'm looking forward to that. But we can't sit up here and not deny. They're going to have some great tag teams, tag team matches. I can't wait to see it. I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with the Hardy Bros. Now that they are back together again and they have pretty much full control of their creative ideas. Oh my God, I can't wait to see it. It's going to be cool. You know what's going to be even cooler? To see the interaction with Christian. I would love to see a little interaction with Christian. I uh, wish Edge was there in a sense, but you know, Edge is going rogue right now in WWE, so he's doing his thing. So that obviously was easily one of the highlights, if not the highlight of the match. Uh, the, the night, not the match. That pop he got, that's the pop Jeff Hardy deserves. And I'm so glad he got in. And I, I can't wait to see what he does with his brother, Matt. It's going to be great. Another highlight for me personally was to see Wardlow come out there. He came out there, you know, and he's smiling. You know what I'm saying? He, fit, he got this sense of relief. The crowd is chanting Wardlow. Ward crowd is behind it. I'm like, all right, man, I, I like what I'm, I'm like what I'm seeing here. And he delivered a heartfelt promo. And this was a good sign because people was listening to his every word. He delivered a heartfelt promo. He explained why he was aligned with MJF from financial reasons. MJF kind of opened the doors for him. But at some point, he couldn't take it anymore. He couldn't take the disrespect. He is no longer aligned with MJF. He's going for the TNT championship. And... I like how he was even expanding it even further. He's like, bro, I'm I'm going for it all. It's not just the TNT championship. You know, he was alluding to going for the AEW championship. He's going for it all, and I loved it. This promo was fantastic. This is how you build up a character in a babyface role. He's always been in a heel role. He's always been kind of quiet, doesn't really say too much. But now you're starting to hear him talk. And now you're starting to hear him speak on what he wants. I love that. If this doesn't remind you of Batista breaking away from Evolution, breaking away from Triple H, I don't know what will. This was great. This was fantastic. And I am looking forward to seeing what happens with him and MJF because you know it's not over. Things are just getting started and I can't wait to see how things play out, man. But ultimately, those are the, uh, the few things that I just really had to record a video on and talk about uh once again i'm sorry i was not able to stream this week i've just i was really busy today on working on other content for the main page but uh hey I, I i definitely wanted to at least sit down record this get my thoughts out on just some of the highlights of AEW tonight and hey man i'm looking forward to seeing what they do with uh matt and jeff uh, I'm interested to see what they do with Wardlow, how they going to play things out. Are they going to put the TNT championship on him relatively soon? I, I want to see, will MJF be a factor on him winning or will losing uh, losing his opportunity, not winning the TNT championship? Will MJF interfere? Will, like, what, what are... What are these things, like how things are going to play out? Even with Brian Danielson and, and John Moxley, who's going to be their next opponents? How far will they go as a tag team? Will they capture the AEW Tag Team Championships? Or will they build a faction? Will they, you know, recruit more people? I'm, I'm just so interested, and that's a good thing to see where things go. Also, I do have to make another noteworthy uh, situ uh, uh, a highlight I forgot to mention. Jericho. That heel turn, fantastic. I loved it. That promo between him and Eddie Kingston was fantastic. You believed it. It was heartfelt. And then he turned on Santana and Ortiz. He turned on Eddie Kingston. Like it was, it was, it was nice to see that heel Jericho come out, beating him down with a bat. I can't wait to see what they do when they try to get their revenge on him. It's going to be great. So I had to make that mention. That was uh, that was definitely a, a cool way to start off the show as a whole. So I just had to put that out there. But those are some of the highlights that I enjoyed about AEW this week. Comment down below. Let me know. What was your favorite part 
of AEW this week. I think a lot of you guys are going to say Jeff Hardy returning. That was one of the highlights for sure for me. But what was your favorite part, favorite moment from this show this week? But I appreciate all the love and support. Roll to 70K. Appreciate y'all keeping with me. See y'all next one. Peace.